Hello guys, so in this video we'll talk about AliExpress closed order, how you should deal with it, what is it exactly, I mean we'll try to give uh, an explanation, um, what can be done thanks to Dropify, so that's a very useful tool that uh, I'm gonna show you, so uh, stay there, sit back and relax, and uh, welcome there. Hello guys, so let's start with that. So here uh, we'll talk about what is it exactly uh, and why it happened. So AliExpress sometimes close order, uh, so they mention system of payment verification. So th that's the two thing. Uh, so for regarding the system issue, so we don't know exactly what is it, but for the payment verification, we know that um, it's linked to, I mean, what AliExpress support is, will tell you is that it's linked to the fact that the address that you have linked to your payment method is not the same as your delivery address for each order. Indeed, that's the case because you do drop shipping, which makes sense. And But they, they don't seem to properly handle that, which is crazy to me, but uh, that, that's that's the fact. Um, so regarding um, regarding what you should do to try to avoid or decrease over time uh, this kind of, uh, of issue. So first of all, you should uh, go through the verification process of the Alipay portal as soon as possible. So Alipay is the, is the payment processor linked to Ali, Alibaba, Ali, Alibaba and AliExpress actually. So uh, I suggest that you go, as soon as you start uh, doing orders, I suggest that you go on Alipay and then you, you make sure that uh, on Alipay you have your uh, your uh, payment method verified. So they may ask you, you know, uh, for example, uh, a screen copy of, uh, of uh, your uh, identity card, uh, passport, things like that. So that's something that will decrease the number of closed order. Another thing that you should do is um, you should consider the fact that if you have a, a new account, then you may encounter more uh, of uh, I mean more closed order that's that's the thing um, that's very troublesome but that's uh, that's the way it is regarding the the order volume um, I notice an, an other uh, other uh, uh, e-commerce expert I uh, are seeing that I notice that basically the more order you do uh, via an account on AliExpress the less likely you will have closed order so now I have it every two months or things like that, and it's 20 order, which is not a nightmare per se to handle. In the, at the beginning, it was like uh, 100 order every, every two days, which was a total nightmare. And, and the, the, the main issue that you may have is, uh, you'll see that, so it's in, it's in the warning section there. Uh, you'll see that basically uh, it's possible that sometime uh, you have orders that are repeatedly are closed. So for example, you want to ship an order to Monica in uh, California. So it's closed one time. So you replace it again on, on Dropify, on, uh, on, on, uh, on AliExpress via Dropify, excuse me. But uh, it, it's closed again. So that become a, a real issue because you, 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 you clearly don't know how to deliver the product. So I'm going to share you some option uh, later on in the video. So stay tuned. So regarding the, 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 the way I deal with it, uh, so I, I did not find that many options on internet. So that's why I, I, I did this video to help you guys. So I personally use Dropify uh, to uh, do order fulfillment. Uh, if you don't know what it is, you can have a 14 days free trial if you click in the link into the description. So that's a very useful tool to uh, to basically streamline your order fulfillment process, uh, define default shipping method, uh, automatic uh, link with your product and, and AliExpress, and, and even more, for example, you can uh, fully automate uh, via one click uh, every uh, order uh, fulfillment. So that's super useful. For example, I have uh, multiple uh, virtual assistants uh, all over the world, and they do have an account on uh, Dropify, so Dropify manage multiple accounts and you can have multiple people working on uh, fulfilling order, which is super useful. So now getting back on the step-by-step -step flow, so you see here. So 
I mean, the starting point of this issue is you receive a notification uh, by mail of AliExpress telling you that an order has been closed. So what I do personally is that I copy the order ID, which is in the mail indeed, I go to Dropify and I search for that order ID. So then I found the order. Indeed, there is an AliExpress order ID linked to this order because it has been placed on AliExpress. So what you do is you go on AliExpress and then you ask the cancellation. Uh, no, actually, you don't ask the cancellation because it's it's uh, it's it's uh, it's actually uh, already cancelled. So so basically, what you do is you directly delete the AliExpress order ID on Dropify. So I, I'll show you just after. So we'll we'll move on my Dropify and I will show you how to do that. So you delete the order ID, and basically what will happen is that the order will get back into the fulfillment queue because there is no AliExpress order ID anymore linked to this order. So it will get back into the queue and then will be ready to reprocess it. So I'm going to show you in my uh, Dropify account in, in a minute. So in terms of Dropify, just a quick note. So as I said, it helps you to uh, do product mapping, bundle mapping, if you want to sell multiple products on uh, one single mapping, define shipping method, uh, have a clear uh, way to automatically uh, import uh, products from AliExpress. Uh, you can also uh, retrieve tracking number in bulk. You can also do order process as a one click. So if you are interested, you can have 14 days trial if you use the link that you can find in the description of that video. So click on it and, and enjoy. So finally, I, before I move to my Dropify, um, I just want to, to share with you some of the tips I mentioned. So in some cases, so you may have the same order closed again and again. So then you, you have no way to, 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 uh, to deliver your client and the client may start to get, uh, to get uh, uh, um, uh, very often did. So what you can do, you have a few options. If you know your, suppli your supplier well, for example, I, for example, I have some supplier uh, that I'm uh, discussing with uh, via WhatsApp or, or WeChat. So I can, I can basically give him some uh, recommendation. So for example, what I'm doing is that I'm, I'm, I'm saying to my supplier, okay, look, for that order, it's repeatedly closed. So uh, I'm putting my address uh, in the deliver, deliver uh, shipping, uh, in the delivery address, sorry about that. And uh, basically in the comment, I put the client address. So that could be a way to deal with it. But that's only if you know your supplier. If you don't know your supplier, um, you can have another option, which is you, you know, uh, usually if you do drop shipping, the order that you drop ship, that you drop ship can be found uh, elsewhere on AliExpress. So you simply order for the same client, but using another supplier. So, okay, normally you use that supplier. That's fine. Uh, for this one, you change the supplier. That's a trick to avoid uh, the an, another order uh, uh, closing. Another trick is you, you change the name or surname. For example, you have someone called Maria uh, Santa Monica. You just put um, uh, you just put uh, Maria Santa Monica M. You, you change some of the thing, uh, which does not make the address incorrect, but change the, the the way it's displayed, and potentially it can help you avoiding the order closing. So now let's get into my Dropify. Okay. So um, as we discussed during the step-by-step -step process, the first thing is you receive an, 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 a mail saying that an order is closed. So here you see some. So if we take this one, for example, so that's an AliExpress notification saying that one of the other is closed. So if I'm opening it, then I see that this order got closed. Okay. So I need to copy this uh, order ID and then I go to my Dropify account. On the Dropify account, so in the order page, you select in the order, you put the order ID. And then you click on apply. If you click on apply, then you will retrieve the order. So, so 
let me let me just uh, resize so that you you see that so here the order you see it here so you have indeed the same order id so if you do uh, control f control v so that's the order id that got uh, closed it's there so what you do you simply click there and you delete the order id it's not a big deal right because okay the order got placed in aliexpress in the past but has been closed so what you do is you delete the order id and what it means is that basically this order will get back into your queue of order to be placed so now if i click on order again then that's that's this order so basically that's this order that is ready to be placed again if you want to know more about how to place order uh, using dropify i i suggest you to look at my other video regarding dropify i i did some uh, step by step tutorial about that so again i hope it has been useful for you guys um that was really all about putting there some content for you to uh, help you under the close order um, so feel free to put some comments if you have any issue i'll be glad to help you so have a good day so don't forget to subscribe and and like the video if you enjoyed it uh, that will be a great support for me see you bye